Okay, hello! Welcome to another episode of Jungle Talks Jubal English Literacy With me, Hanifa Aziza Rahmi as your host for today's episode Well, it's kind of been a long time after our last episode because Well, we had our exam coming up last week So, without further ado, let's welcome our guest star today, Sultan El Sirazi Because you know, he just got a gold medal in chemistry Olympic that were held by Kemendikbud I bet you guys already know already about that Hello. Thank you. Okay. So, how are you feeling today, Sultan? I'm feeling I'm good. Yeah, I guess I'm good. Okay. Just being kind of overwhelmed by the amount of work. <laughs> oh, what work? <laughs> School work because I had lots of this span. So, yeah, I got to catch up with school materials. Our school winner then. <laughs> okay, if I'm not wrong, for this Olympic that you're going to Bogor, right? Yeah. Okay, then can you tell us about your experience there? Uh, Anything okay, okay, okay. I, I got a lot to tell. Okay. So we we arrived uh, in Bogor uh, at, I think, 27th of August, and then we went home to Palembang, uh, 2nd of September. Um, the first day, which is on Monday, which is on the 28th, We did the opening ceremony. It was, well, yeah, so-so. I get to play with my friends from Sumsa and also from uh, other province because I have lots of friends in chemistry. Mm-hmm. And then the second day, 29th, yeah, uh, we had our practical examination mm-hmm. uh, for hours. Yes. Four hours. <laughs> Four I hours of practical exam, mm-hmm. and then the next day we had our theoretical exam. Four hours too. Okay, I can't even imagine myself oh. doing that. <laughs> but oh, but we, we still have recreation the next day. Oh, yeah. recreation? Were you traveling somewhere other than place to of study? Of course, oh. we, we're gonna explode oh, if I'm we surprised. don't have recreation. We went to Isana President. I believe that's what it's called. Um, mm-hmm. It was a museum, and then we also went to Kebun Raya Bogor, KRB. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right then. Other than that, is there any more other than Kebun Raya yeah. Bogor? Yeah, um, actually from the Kemdikbud, that's our only destinations. But mm-hmm. we as friends, as students, we also went to the mall to go refreshing after the theoretical exam. Yeah. And it oh. was really fun. Okay, I guess you have a lot of fun with your online old friends. Oh yeah, so. we met online so long ago and then we finally get to meet mm-hmm. offline and it was mind-boggling and it was okay. so fun. You know, there is, uh, is there uh, your new favorite food while you were there or is this the same as Palembang? Well, there's food from the hotel it's it was Bogor Icon Hotel and mm-hmm. the food was good I appreciate it but we only ate chicken and fish the fish was filet for six consecutive days I yes I agree that they're good but it's kind of boring and my friends oh. agree with me too but I I don't want to diss the hotel you know? oh yeah of course mm-hmm. you don't want to get yourself a oh bit yeah of course <laughs> Our winner. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. For our friends that watching this, uh, let's get back to the topic first. Okay. What should we do to join this Olympic, especially for the chemistry ones? Ah, uh, okay. If so viewers will agree. First of all, um, you can choose one from nine of the subjects, which I won't mention because you can search it up on Google. But if oh, you, oh yes. Do you want me to mention all of them like right now? <laughs> If you can? Well, let's see. There's math and then physics, chemistry, biology, um, and then geography, astronomy, um, and then e- economics, and then geology, and also uh, earth science, not ge- geology. And there's informatics. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, you know, other tips that you can say to our lovely viewers here? Yeah, so the tips is you guys have to you know make yourself want to study that material Mm -hmm. you you need that motivation from the inside of yourself and not from outside forces because um, to study that much of material college level material into your head 
that's a lot to do if you rely on your parents or your teachers so you have to want to study yourself and there's also multiple steps to get to even to the nationals you have to get through the school tests and then mm -hmm. there's also um city tests and then there's province and finally it's the nationals which i like to call it the finals all right mm. okay talking about studying for this olympic are there some books or website that you will recommend Oh yeah, so of course every subject has their own books and websites and materials mm -hmm. but right. I myself am going to tell you about the resources that I often use um, mm -hmm. for chemistry. So books, uh, first I need to tell you that chemistry has five subtopics which is uh, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry and also biochemistry. Mm, it, each is uh, a distinct set but they're also interconnected so there are f um, four books that i mainly use uh, but first of all you have to use the general chemistry which um, takes little bits of pieces of the materials from each book and then uh, makes it into one and that's actually enough to get you quite far in the olympiad and then of course you have to study organic chemistry which is very important uh, I use Solomon's and then I also use Clayton's organic chemistry which are both uh, about 1,000 pages 1,000 yeah but you do not need to study all of them okay, okay. no you do not need to study all of them okay, okay. Solomon's um, well you do have to study all of them but not like you have to remember all of it you need to understand the concepts you know and then Clayton you all you only need to you know study certain hard topics that might appear in the finals and also the province and then there's analytical chemistry um, general chemistry is enough t for the analytical chemistry but you also have to study uh, several topics from the books Harvey and Skoog um, they're different in that Harvey is quite dense denser mm -hmm. but a little bit harder but skook is beginner friendly i in my point of view and then there's physical physical chemistry i use atkins and also koichi ono i think the name koichi ono yeah <laughs> is it <laughs> japanese i don't know <laughs> maybe atkins you only need to study the thermodynamics part because everything okay. else is it's good but it's not quite relevant for the olympiad mm. and for um, Koichi Ono, um, you only need to study certain topics that might appear in the nationals or maybe in the internationals, you know, who knows? Maybe, who knows? So, for this uh, website and the books, uh, which one do you prefer, the website one or the books one for your comfort read or study? It actually depends on my mood. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned the two other books. Uh, it's oh. Housecraft for Inorganic Chemistry uh, and Inorganic. Yeah, inorganic oh. chemistry and also yeah. Miesler for inorganic chemistry too. So the website is uh, chem.libertex.org and I mainly use the website when I'm tired of reading books because mm -hmm. books, you know, they are so good but once you get bored with books, you can't study because you have to uh, force yourself to study, right? You have to m study what makes you engage in that material. So websites are also useful because they provide an easier access and also it's kind of easier, relatively easier to read. Mm. Yeah. Mm, okay, all right then. Okay, so before we end this video, well, it's a bit long it's video now. So let's get it short. You have to study by your own. Don't force yes. yourself, right? Yeah. To study this kind of college levels uh, study. So exactly. make yourself enjoy in studying those things. And thank you so much for watching today's episode. Unlocking, Unlocking the power, power of words, words through, through conversation. conversation. Bye bye. Bye.